Are you willing to enjoy the good of your land? What is the good of your land? The blessings in your land, the fruit of your labor. Do you want things to start working for you? Do you want your effort to start paying off? No more wasted effort. No more wasted strength. When you work, you see your result. When you put in effort, you shall be successful. This is just one thing that the Lord wants you to do to attract your blessing and open doors. This is the secret. And not until you understand this secret, there will be no miracle. This secret carries miracle. The reason why you have not gotten what you want, the reason why you are not growing, the reason why you are not succeeding, the reason why things are not working out, the reason why problems are always in your life without stop is because of what? Is because of this particular thing. The moment you understand that you have to stop this, then you will assess your blessing. You are most welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new on this channel, my name is Henrietta. In here we pray. We seek solution. We cry out to God. We depend on God for his blessing. So all you need to do right now is to join us. Subscribe and make sure you turn on the bell for more videos. Please and please give this video a thumbs up and share this with your friends. So today we are going to pray with Isaiah 1 verse 19. Isaiah 1 verse 19. If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of your land. This is the criteria. If you are willing to be obedient to the Lord. I know that it is hard at times, but we should always try to be obedient to the Lord. See, no matter how much we beat around the bush, this is the major key. Not until you embrace this key, nothing will happen except you are going to get your miracle from the devil. What God wants is for you to obey his words. You know his commandments. You know the wrong things. Stop doing them and repent and plead for forgiveness. And you will start enjoying the good of your land. See, let me tell you, I'm speaking to people who are fighting hard to travel abroad. They want to travel. They feel that in their country, there is no green pasture. There is no money. Breaking news. In that your country, people are succeeding. People are making it. People are making money. They are. They are making money. They are succeeding. They are enjoying. That you are not making does not mean that there is no good thing in your land. In every country, there is money. In every country, there is green pasture. For you to enjoy your green pasture from God, you need to obey His commandment. Number one, try to help people. When you see people you have more than, even if you don't have more than them, at that point, they are in a tight corner. I know of some friends. When they have problems, they abandon themselves. They leave themselves. They don't want to help themselves. How do you beat that? They leave themselves. They don't want to help themselves. And this is not just about friendship. Whether they are your friends or not, they are your enemies or not, try to help them. When you see anybody in problem, when you help them, you are helping the Lord. I know that you have heard this before, but I am saying it again. Learn to help people. See, let me tell you, even if you are not perfect, you cannot be so perfect that you don't make mistake. But try in this area of helping with this particular thing. God does not play with the prayers of generous people. Even if you are a sinner, he will forgive you. Always have this sympathetic mind, this kind heart to help people. When you see anyone with a problem, always be touched, be moved. Show compassion. Even if you cannot help, you can advise. If you don't have any advice, go down your knees and pray for them. Don't always make your prayers about you, your family members, your siblings alone. No, it is not done. 
There are many people when they are praying, me, 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 me. When you continue to dwell in you, 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 you will be there. Because that thing that you need, you need God to send helpers. That money that you need, that money will not fall from heaven. God is going to send people to open doors for you, people to employ you, people to buy from you, people to help you. But if you cannot help people, how can you get your blessing? If you cannot help people, how can you see helpers? You cannot get what you cannot give. That is the law of God. So please, inculcate the habit of helping people. In all your prayers, learn to pray for someone and you will enjoy the good of your land. If you are the type, you are selfish, your hand is tight, you are waiting for when you will have millions for you to help anybody, my dear, you better stop. If you wait till when you are very rich, you will never help people. With the little you have, learn to share. And as you do this, you will enjoy the fruit of your labor. You will enjoy the good of your land in the name of Jesus. Amen. Before we go, let's share a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word we have heard. Oh Lord, we ask you for mercy upon our lives. We ask you for forgiveness. Oh Lord, forgive us our sins. We have sinned against you. We have come short of your glory. Oh Lord, have mercy. Oh Lord, cause them to enjoy the good of their land. Wherever they are living in, let them begin to enjoy every good thing that is in their land. Where others are progressing in their land. Where others are making money in their land. Where others are getting good jobs. Oh Lord, cause them to prosper too. Where others are succeeding. Oh Lord, Cause them to succeed. Bless the work of their hands. Let the work of their hands be fruitful. In the name of Jesus, the work of your hands shall be fruitful. In the name of Jesus, the work of your hands shall not go in vain. The work of your hands shall not go in vain. You shall eat the good of your land. You shall also eat the good of your labor. In the name of Jesus, everything you touch from now on, shall bring prosperity to you. Whatever you do, loss of money will come out. Whatever you do, success will come out. Whatever you do, there shall be breakthrough. Wherever you go, doors will be open for you. When you knock, people will listen to you. There shall be no more rejection in your life. No more rejection. No more rejection. No more rejection. In the name of Jesus, there shall be no more rejection. No more rejection in the name of Jesus. You shall be accepted. You shall eat the good of your land. Wherever you step your feet on, you shall possess the land. You shall possess every good thing on the land that you stand on. You shall possess every good thing in the universe in the name of Jesus. Every good thing in the universe that the Lord has created, you shall possess, you shall enjoy, you shall live in abundance in the name of Jesus. Every good thing in the land that you stand on, every human being that walk on the land shall favor you in the name of Jesus. As you go, doors will open for you, people will listen to you, help will come to you in the name of Jesus. From now on, you will enjoy the good of your land. Every good thing, every money, every success, every blessing, Every good thing is happening to people in your place will start happening to you. And the bad things will not come to you. In the name of Jesus, you shall reap the fruit of your labor. All merited favor shall be your portion. Your doors shall open for favor. You will never lack again. I speak blessing upon your life. I speak favor upon your life. You are highly favored. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will cause everyone around you to favor you. The Lord will cause your helpers to locate you. The Lord will will cause you to flourish in the name of Jesus. Only joy shall be your portion. Whatever is blocking your success, whatever is causing failure in your life, it is destroyed in the name of Jesus. Amen. So please, learn to be helpful. Learn to obey the will of the Lord. Help people. Show concern. Pray for someone. And you will see how God will change your life. May God bless you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you have not. Give this video a thumbs up and share this with your friends. May God bless you.